I think the first and foremost, most important tip is that it's very easy to start a business here. But at the same time, you really need to understand construction law. You need to understand client contracts. You really need to understand how the, how the law works in terms of not only for employment and for your office, but also how it works in terms of projects. Um, so I think, you know, get some background on that definitely before you start. I think the second point that I would say is um, one thing that I really didn't do very well, but uh, uh, try to get a business plan together. You know, you need to start off with some clients, but you need to have a plan B, C and D because sometimes some of those projects that you might start your business with, they don't come into fruition very quickly. So, you know, really start small, grow organically, realize that this is not a sprint, it's a marathon, take your time. Um, and I would also say really understand yourself and know what your design passion and, and what your personality and what your unique selling point are because that's what is really going to differentiate you between the sea of other designers that are out there in Dubai. Put your future in a frame, you know, put a target for myself. I want to work with best designers. I want to work with the best developers, with the best contractors. You have to create the target. After that, you have to create your strategy. You know, my strategy to achieve that target, what I can do to do to reach that point. It's very important to create the strategy, you know, very elaborate strategy. Third, the implementation of your strategy. It's very, you know, accurate implementation of that by all means you'll reach somewhere maybe you'll exceed your target maybe you're gonna achieve your target maybe you can be close by your target but definitely if you follow those three steps you can make significant progress firstly it would be surround yourself with great people um, i think uh, people who are better than you and have uh, maybe a skill set that you don't have and I think that will just uh, elevate your uh, experience and your uh, firm. The second point would be uh, perseverance. So you have to go through all the motions of running a business and uh, never look back. And um, the third one would be make decisions and don't dwell on them. So I think if you can really see um, something that you're not sure about, take advice, but don't dwell on it.